What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel as always I'm Jay and today guys I'm going to be talking to you about the recent images we got of the live action Aladdin film that's finally coming out. A short time ago we actually got a little bit of a teaser about 30 seconds or so where it's Aladdin inside the Cave of Wonders and he's actually approaching the lamp and whatnot. But now thanks to Entertainment Weekly and Variety or whoever the hell had the images we now see our first three images or first set of images rather of the three main characters and Jafar. And guys looking at these images um... Yeah, you can definitely tell that Disney's not learning from their mistakes as far as live-action films go. Now, don't get me wrong. Disney is a timeless company, and they've made many, many classics. And the animation and everything, I've been a fan of uh, since I was a little kid. I grew up on Disney movies. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Cinderella, all that stuff. Um, my favorite Disney movie of all time, Beauty and the Beast, which was recently adapted um, for live-action. Uh, and I didn't really enjoy it too, too much, but that that is like my niche area. I'm a kid of the 90s, so Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Little Mermaid was 80s, but still counts, um, Lion King. Those are all my Disney films, my, my core favorite of Disney films. And having been let down from the past one, which was Beauty and the Beast, I really didn't have a lot of expectations going into this one. And to be quite honest, for my taste personally, I'm not really sold on this. The only person that really looked decent out of all of them was Naomi Scott. One, because she's stunning and gorgeous, but secondly, because she actually seems more like the Jasmine character. Now, that's not to say that the actor, who I don't know who his name is, who's playing Aladdin, doesn't look like he's an Aladdin. It's just they're adding extra clothes on him for no reason. Aladdin had the hat, he had a vest, and he had some braggity old pants and everything. Why do they have to put a shirt underneath the vest and everything? Um, from what I do here, they're going to have uh, Abu, of course. And like I said, they did show Jafar. And I feel like they're adding too much to the costume design. The designs don't need to be extravagant. I know it's Middle Eastern, yada, yada, yada. You're trying to make it authentic. Whatever. Why don't you just make it basic, keep it like it was in the cartoon somewhat? We're not making uh, uh, realistic fiction here. We're making fiction. And then the icing on the cake, the insult to the injury, Will Smith's genie with that god-awful beard and hair. Now, I understand when you're adapting a cartoon character as beloved as Genie, who was a blue cartoon character, it's a little tough to adapt to kind of a live-action thing. But I don't know what the hell they were thinking with this. Sure. When you get someone like Will Smith, you're not going to be doling out money for him just for him to be a CGI character. That's just not going to happen. You're going to have him be there, working, doing his thing. So, I mean, what did I expect? I don't know. I expected something that wasn't that. And really thinking about it, Will Smith's got the personality. He's bombastic, you know, in a good way. He's, he's very much, uh, you know, a talker and a jokester and everything like that. So I think he's going to do good as the genie, but... I mean, I don't know if he's old enough to be portraying a genie. Like, I don't know. I still feel like he's got a youthful exuberance, which, you know, I mean that in the best way because, I mean, Will Smith is one of those guys who's just not really aging very fast and he's still cool and everything. But, like, why couldn't they get someone who was, like, Sinbad? But overall, I think that um, the images we got, they're decent. They, you know, it makes everything kind of more tangible and this much closer to being realized. Um, I do think that they're going for more of a realistic approach from what I can see with the costume designs. Again, my appeal is keep it as close to the source material as you can uh, for character designs and whatnot, but all in all, this isn't too bad, um, but I don't think I'm going to go and see this movie in the theaters. Um, oh, who am I kidding? I'm probably going to go see it in the theaters, but I don't think I'm going to pay full price. I might go on a Tuesday where it's half price just because of how it's looking. I need to see something more. I need to see some type of wow factor. I need to see some allure and some mystique and whatnot. But all in all, guys, what do you think about the first images of the Aladdin film? Let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, if you like what you see here, please do subscribe and go and check my other videos out. Totally binge worthy. And if you guys do like my content and you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell button. That way you never miss a moment of my content. But anyway, guys, that's all the time that I have for today. Please let me know of any suggestions that you want me to talk about. Anything subject related in terms of nerd culture, pop culture, games, movies, cartoons, animation, whatever you want to do. Just let me know down below and uh, I'll see if I can work it into my schedule. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's all the time that I have for today. So take care, guys. I'm Jay.
Bye.